Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. Hello, I'm Bob Hartzler, Extension Weed Scientist, and today we're in the Agronomy Teaching Greenhouses where I grow lots of weeds. And we're going to talk a little bit about emergent sequences. And we like to group weeds by when they start to emerge in the spring, because that can really be really helpful when you're out in a field and you start seeing some weeds emerge and you're not sure exactly what they are. Uh, if you know the sequence that weeds emerge, you can sort of say, well, this couldn't possibly be morning glory because it shouldn't be emerging at this time. And so the weeds we have in cropping systems, we've selected for weeds that emerge about the same time we plant our crops and uh, maybe and they continue to emerge later in the season. That, that varies. But the timing, even our, our earliest emerging weeds and the latest emerging weeds may be, you know, three to four weeks. Uh, but what's even more important and varies more is the duration of emergence. So some weeds emerge over a relatively narrow time frame, whereas others emerge over a longer time frame. And so if you look at this graph, you can see the big differences in the duration of emergence. So the longer the bar is, the longer that weed continues to emerge. And so if we look at some of the examples of an emer early emerger, this is kochia. And so it's probably the earliest emerging summer annual we have in Iowa. So it typically would begin to emerge maybe in mid-April or so. And kochia is not a real big problem here in Iowa simply because with our cropping system, the majority of the kochia emerges before we plant corn or soybeans. And so that allows farmers to eliminate this weed uh, either with tillage or burn down herbicides. And so Again, kochia, earliest emerging weed. Now another early emerging weed we have is giant ragweed. And giant ragweed in a typical year may start emerging four or five days later than kochia, but it continues to emerge over a longer period of time. So even though the giant ragweed typically starts to emerge before we plant the crop, we still have significant emergence after the crop is in the ground. And those are the individuals that are more difficult to uh, control. Weeds that emerge before the crop is planted are relatively simple to control. Those that emerge afterwards are more difficult. And over time, we've actually selected for giant ragweed populations that emerge over a longer period of time. And so some farmers are, are, have a big problem with giant ragweed because they, they have these uh, biotypes with a longer emergence pattern. Now, one of our standard weeds that we always think of, a, you know, this could be the state flower of Iowa, especially 30 years ago, is velvet leaf. And so it's a weed that typically begins emerging probably one or two weeks after uh, giant ragweed, right about the time farmers get in the field. And so the majority of the, giant, uh, the velvet leaf <clears throat> emerges after we planted the crop. Uh, and then it continues to emerge from another two or three weeks. And so we probably get the bulk of the emergence uh, in a three, four week period. Now we go to what we would consider a late emerging weed. And this, this is today's uh, state flower of Iowa in uh, water hemp. And so it's an amaranthus species. And again, it's what we consider a late emerging weed, so it probably starts emerging, you know, four or five days after uh, velvet leaf. And in some years, we'll see water hemp start to emerge first of May. I think last year, um, even Megan saw some emerging in April, I believe. And so some of it does emerge relatively early, but the majority of it is emerging in late May uh, through June. And this is what makes the water hemp so difficult to manage is it just continues to emerge over a very long period of time. Whereas with giant ragweed, for farmers that have one of those populations that still emerges in a relatively narrow time frame, it's much easier to manage than a species that has one of these uh, prolonged emergence patterns. So emergence sequences, can be very helpful, especially early in the season, because if you're out in the field in uh, mid to late April, 
only those early emerging weeds are going to be present and you can rule out a lot of other weeds. So that's what I was going to talk about in terms of emergence sequences and we're going to have additional tapes that discuss the identification of weeds by these uh, emergence patterns.